Hi, my name is Janiel. Welcome to Culture Trekking, where I try to collect unique stories from around the globe that focus on sustainable adventure and cultural connections. I call Utah home, but today I am sharing tips and travel hacks when going to Cancun Airport. Good morning, Culture Trekkers. So today, it's a little bit of a different content because this is the first time that I've traveled outside the USA during the time of the pandemic. So I don't think it's something that's gonna go away. I think it's something that we're just gonna have to live with, just like you know, yellow fever or malaria or some of those other communicable, communicable diseases. Granted, COVID is more communicable, but let's not again get into that. What I wanted to go over today is how to go from the USA to Cancun and back. Make sure that you double check the recommendations by the State Department as well as entering into the country that you're going to. Now, I flew in on Delta and I'm flying out on United and both airlines have given me emails and instructions over and over and over again to make sure that I can have a safe trip and be able to return home as well. Now I wanted to go over something that is going to make your life a lot easier outside of the pandemic and things you'd have to do for that and that is Priority Pass. Now Priority Pass is a um, card that you sign up for it gives you access to lounges throughout the world I think there's something like 1200 or 1400 lounges throughout the world um, you can just pay a hundred dollars a year or 249 or they have another level there's three levels so the first level is around a hundred bucks and then it's every time you want to go into a lounge it's about $32 so if you don't fly a lot that might be the option for you but it allows you to go in work they have snacks you can lay down and you feel pretty special when you go in I I definitely think it's worth it if you do travel a lot um, to get that mid-tier package the 249 at least it is right now just because it, it it doesn't cost you anything extra to go into the lounges now in that mid-tier package it's around 10 passes per year so that's something I highly recommend especially since they have a lounge here in the Cancun Airport and Cancun Airport is notorious for having long wait times and congestion. Second thing, paperwork. So they give you this form on the airplane and you have to fill out the top portion and the bottom portion. So they give you this bottom portion and you have to keep this because if you don't keep it, it can cost you anywhere from $35 to $150 or even jail time. So this is very, very important for you to keep. Do not lose it. Now I have a passport holder, which I'll link down below. See, it's pretty cute, huh? It comes with a place for your vaccine card. It comes with, you know, an area where you can stick your priority pass and also credit card, whatever. We'll get into the credit card in just a minute, but it has a pen for you. You can put the, uh, paperwork in the back here and then your passport in there as well and then it has an elastic that can put it all together I'll link that down below but that this is a really good way just to keep everything all in one place okay let's talk about pre-flight paperwork so here's United's um, website and I already have my negative COVID tests so I'm gonna upload this into this document so I got the information all filled out, but then this is what keeps people in the airport for a long period of time because they don't fill this out or read the airline instructions closely enough. So you have to fill this out and put a signature. So bring your computer where you have Adobe or where you can open a PDF and put your signature on here and then upload it. That's probably the easiest way to do it or you can pick up the paper at the airport but basically just saying, yes, I've had a negative COVID test or you have had COVID and are now recovered. 
For long airport wait times, I suggest going really early in the morning for your flight out because this is what the airport looks like. It did take me about an hour to get all of my stuff checked in to get back into the US through the initial passenger check-in person. The next thing I wanted to go over is I've heard a lot of rumors. I haven't personally been into Mexico City Airport, um, so I can't say this of my own experience, but a lot of people have told me to try to avoid a layover in Mexico City. Take it with a grain of salt. It's just something that I found in my own research that people were suggesting that come down here quite a bit. When you arrive into Cancun, it takes about an hour to go through customs. They do have dogs to search for drugs, so don't try to uh, sneak anything in because they smell everything. And then once you get out of transportation, I, you go into what is called the airport taxi market. Now, a lot of people complain, oh, they're so aggressive and this, that, and the, I didn't find that at all. They were actually very respectful. Um, it is kind of like a market. If you've ever been in like a Turkish market, come here, my friend, I have a special price for you. That kind of thing. If you're trying to feed your family, you try to be the loudest person as well, right? So you just say, no gracias, no gracias. If you are already have arranged transport, Eshadet Hotel does have both um, the bus and the private transfer. Private transfer, they kind of whisk you away right at the beginning. And then if you are on the bus, then it is very comfortable. Um, but for me, I was the first one to arrive. So I only waited about 30 to 40 minutes, um, which wasn't terrible. And then when you're on the bus, they do give you drinks. They have Sprite, Coke, Diet Coke, and mineral water. So mineral water and any bottled water is pretty safe for you to drink. Eshadet Hotel here provides water for you that you can drink as well that is filtered. However, if you are going out into the town and you run out of water um, or want to fill your water bottle, then I suggest getting a life straw. Um, I don't have my actual filter in here right now, but this comes with a little clip that you can put on your bags and be supplied with water the whole day. You can put ice in your water bottles as well because usually ice is filtered. Next up, when you're thinking about coming to Cancun, if you're like me and you have a lot of struggles with keeping cool in humid climate, especially if you're wearing a mask, something like this, a hand fan, is going to save you. The, the AC at Eshadet Hotel is great, but going from one place to another, even walking around in the park or waiting at the hotel outside for everyone to get to the bus, it just is... <sighs> So I actually got this on one of my travels. I've used it so many times in airplanes that are waiting on the the ramps to fly off. I don't know what it's called. I've used it in line at amusement parks. I mean, everywhere. So don't be afraid to bring a hand fan and get one that's kind of flowery and fancy and you'll be the belle of the ball. So the next thing I wanna go over is COVID tests. COVID tests, you have to get one that is approved by the FDA and the flight um, that United is who I'm flying back with. So I'm gonna upload my paperwork once I get it because I got my COVID test here at the hotel, courtesy of the hotel. It didn't cost me anything extra because it's an all-inclusive resort. So they make sure to help you get back to um, your final destination okay don't over plan your day make sure that you take time to get your covid test in a reasonable amount of time before your flight it's very important i i always like a backup plan so the backup plan is it's called the abbott test and i'll link this down below as well this is an fda approved covid test so i bring i brought this as a last minute emergency um covid test that all you do is download an app the navica app and then it basically you plug it into the app um, you don't open it until you're on the phone with them um, you they watch you do the swab yourself and then they'll email you the results which then you can upload into the database for your flight the last thing i want to go over and also my favorite is 
using the Chase Sapphire card. So this is the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. They also have the Chase Reserve card. This one, it only has around a 95 annual fee associated with it. And I'll link this one down below. The reason I like this is because of all the points that you get with this. You can get five times the points if you book through the Ultimate Rewards on their website. So if you want to book the Eshet at Hotel, you could book it through them and then you get five times the points, which goes towards your next hotel or your next free flight or an upgrade to feel bougie. Then you also get three times the points on grocery and online shopping. Uh, grocery shopping, it does not include Walmart. It does not include like the wholesale stuff. And then when you travel, you get two times the points on anything that you buy. So let's say you book a massage for a hundred bucks. That's gonna be 200 points towards your next flight. So I really like the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. Uh, it does not give you access to the priority pass or any of the Delta lounges. Um, if you get the reserve though, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, then you would get access to all of the lounges as well as extra bonus points on you know bookings and things like that. The only downside to the Chase Sapphire Reserve is that it's a 550 annual fee. So it just depends on how much you travel, what your budget's like, and how many points you wanna get. What I do is I funnel some of my bills through the Chase Sapphire Preferred card to get those extra points and then I just pay it off every month and it's just this revolving thing and eventually I'll be able to have a first class flight all the way to Europe. Woo! So those are my tips for getting to Cancun and back to the USA safely, efficiently, effectively, and the least amount of stress possible. So if I missed anything or if you travel, there free, uh, travel down here frequently, please leave some comments down below and make sure to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend if you found this useful. See you in the next one. Bye. Good morning and welcome to United Flight Center.